we have a, a discussion, a talk from Alison Johnson from the Green Party. Thank you, David. Hello, Pedal. How are you doing? You are looking absolutely gorgeous today. And I am delighted to be here. And while it's true that we do have a fabulous day out whenever we get together, we're here for a very important reason. I think Sarah and I were asking ourselves earlier, was this pedal three? Was it pedal four? It's pedal four. I was wondering how many more pedals we might have. I was thinking, what if we had pedal 40? And then I realised that I'd actually be 89. Now, I was wondering if, if I ever get to pedal 40, will we be coming to celebrate the fact that we have cut pollution and congestion on our roads, that we've cut fatalities, that we have cut the National Health Bill and that we finally met our world leading climate change targets because we have to do those things and we have to get serious about it now. Now we have an opportunity, we're all here together and we have a commitment to work on a cross party basis about an issue that shouldn't even be political. I'd like to point out too, this is a real transport justice issue. In 40% of homes in our urban areas, people don't have access to a car. That increases to 60% where households have less than £10,000 income annually. And what do we see across the globe? Here in Scotland, less than 1% of the population are cycling regularly. In Copenhagen, that's 40%. And who cycles most in Copenhagen? Those who earn less than £10,000. This is a massive transport justice issue. I welcome the Minister's commitment to look again at topping up any cuts to the cycling and walking budget. That is really important because I'd like to point out that our roads budget has increased to £695 million. Current budget for cycling, 32.3 million. Spot the difference. Now, I'm not going to leave on that negative note because I believe that your work here, this grassroots fantastic movement, groups like Spokes, Critical Mass, Friends of the Earth, and actually, even the Association of Public Health Directors are calling for 10% of transport budgets to be spent on walking and cycling. I think the message is getting through. The fact that the Minister comes, engages with you and pledges support shows that we are making an impact. We can do this, we can get that budget up year by year until it actually makes the transformative difference that we need to see on Scotland streets so that they're safe streets for everyone, whether you're eight, whether you're 80. I've become very friendly with the McNichols throughout this campaign. I'm thinking of them today as I'm standing here looking at their son's bicycle. I want to see an end to fatalities, but I want to see an increase in a healthy, active population. So I pledge today to continue to work with everyone who wants to deliver not a vision, but a target, 10% of all journeys by bike in Scotland by 2020. Thank you.